So now what I'd like to show you is since I showed you now how to find the slope between two points, what I did was I took my two points, plugged it into our standard slope formula, and found the slope. So now if I want to find the equation of the line, I have to write in, well, what is the equation of a line? Another equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the equation of a line using the slope-intercept formula, um, or slope-intercept method. We could have also done the point-slope, but the slope-intercept method is now, I know what my slope is, my m now equals 2, and what I need to do is I need to find out what is now my, my y-intercept, what is my b. So I know that my x and my y, those are both two points. So I just need to pick a point that I want to use. I'm going to pick x2 and y2. It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to use, I'm going to pick these points. So I'm going to say, all right, 6 is now my y, m is 2 times x, which is 7, plus b. I don't know what b is because that's your y-intercept. That's what you're trying to solve for. Because once I know my m is, once I know my b, I have an equation of a line. So I get 6 is equal to 14 plus b minus 14 minus 14, a negative 8 equals b. So now, if you guys look at, I have just solved for an m in the previous problem, and now I've solved for my b. So when I write out my equation, y equals 2x minus 8, I now have an equation of a line. So when you're trying to find an equation of a line, whatever you're given, you're going to be given multiple different things. Sometimes you're given a slope, sometimes you're given two points. Whichever way, whatever you're given, you have to make sure you find your slope and your y-intercept. And that's how you can write a line in the slope-intercept method. Okay? So that's how you find a slope between two points, then how to write the equation of the line.